Yep, good morning everyone. Vlogmas in July continues. <laughs> Doing something a little different. Whoa, Opie, hold on. Put your seatbelt on, Opie. Did you turn the TV on? Who's driving this crazy thing? <laughs> Welcome everyone to Vlogmas in July. That's right, a video every day for 31 days, presented by Nomad Internet. Typically, Vlogmas is done in December, where vloggers on YouTube upload a video every day for 25 days leading up till Christmas morning. I borrowed this idea from the Bethunes over at Red, White, and Bethune. They passed the torch to me this year. As a Christmas fanatic, this is a great way for me to be cheerful and thankful all month long. Opie, you better be a good boy this July. Santa Paws is watching. Tara, no more sneaking into catnip sack. Santa Paws will bring you coal. Thanks for joining me this month, guys, and have a jolly old month of July. Yep, got my buddy uh, Andrew driving the RV, at least here a little bit. I figured this would be a good opportunity to trace down some of these rattles and vibrations going on inside the RV. So uh, we're heading to Chehalis today, and Opie's just kind of chilling there on the table. So I'm over here and listening. All of these little plastic spice racks are making a bunch of noise. <laughs> uh, so there's that. This is also still a problem up here. All this foam needs to be replaced in the screen and it needs to be bent back so it's making solid contact. Yeah, all right, so I got, I got some projects. I got some rattles. We're on our way to my favorite adult RV toy store and uh, I'll let you know some more information once we get there what the project is today. Thanks for joining me, guys. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you remember uh, what happened in Kansas, that crazy high wind dust storm that uh, ripped the awning right off the side of Frida here. Well, uh, I'm gonna show you more of this place because we, we've been here before, West Coast RV Recycling here in Chehalis, Washington. Lauren up there. Centralia. Centralia, not Chehalis, yeah. Uh, he's gonna put an awning on the rig today and we're gonna be back in business. But this is not your typical uh, RV salvage yard because oh, okay. this is where we park. And as you can see, they're dismantling the RVs here and then putting the parts in the store where we can go look through. So you don't have to walk through a field of RVs over there and go find the parts you need. You can just go in the store and look. And uh, if you're looking for something specific, like, like a window or a door or a water cap or a specific sink or some part, uh, you can always call them up here and tell Lauren what you're looking for. You can get on a waiting list so that when they get an RV in that sounds like it's the part you need, they're going to strip it down to nothing here. Every single screw and bolt comes out of it. <laughs> this is a similar RV to what Frida is. It's a 350, not, not, a, not a V10, but uh, that's what a Class C looks like once they get done with it here. And then piece by piece, they bring the supplies here into the shop. This is the shop area where uh, they're putting together uh, different pieces of an awning, a, a new vinyl actually. This will be the, the same blue fade, but a brand new vinyl has been put onto it. They've got refrigerators and refrigerator parts of all different sizes. Here's some more of their awning stuff. So when I called yesterday, Lauren came back here and he was going through trying to find the right length, you know, for a 16 footer and stuff. Uh, 75, yeah, so their, their, their prices are, you know, fluctuate on what they have and what you need, but um, they are definitely Franken Frankensteining one up for me because it's not compatible with the old hardware air conditioner shrouds, all, it, you know, you could like literally make a shopping list and then next time you come through I-5 in Washington State through Centralia, grab whatever you need. Remember when I got my couch that was right here and then a big old water tank? Let's see what they got here. That looks really similar to the one I have in my RV. All sorts of interesting stuff. I have a couple other things on my list today, but different types of uh, RV blinds and shades of all different sizes. But Lauren says he's been doing a lot of RV awnings lately. They're popular, huh? This is the <laughs> two yesterday, two today, one tomorrow. Holy cow. Five and three days. Five and three days for awnings. That doesn't count last week. <laughs> oh, geez. Tis the season. So you're getting good at it then? No. <laughs> all kinds of different uh, ceiling light fixtures and stuff. Look at all these. You don't need to buy them brand new. How much is this? Five bucks. 
five bucks right there. This is also a uh, very popular uh, spot for all these because people uh, lose these metal ones and they're in different colors, different shades of green and brown. Uh, sometimes they get some really unique custom ones in here too that are different colors. But yeah, if you lost one of your uh, fridge compartments, little crisper trays, or the stuff that goes on the on the side of the fridge that uh, holds the sodas in, these guys, all different sizes. And it's so convenient because you can just grab, grab and go whatever you need. Or these are really popular. People lose the uh, vents to their fridge. Just an assortment of different outside vents and stuff for refrigerators. And, uh, all the lenses and headlights and uh, other trailer blinkers and stuff that you may have cracked. I mean, you can get a used one for a really good price here. Wheel covers for all different types. Well, and here's where I need to look. I don't have a vanity in my bathroom for some reason, so um, they have just mirrored ones, but you know, something that's possibly lightweight that that Yoda had like that, where it has a compartment inside, like a medicine cabinet and a mirror. Matter of fact, that might be the winner, guys. Right there. All kinds of uh, vent caps up there. Yeah. Curtains, <laughs> uh, tables. Remember I built a table from something I picked out of here. This is another a cool one, because this one slides. I can see the mechanism there. It's a sliding table. Or if you're uh, missing one of these knobs, you've been guessing at, at the temperature. Of, of your oven. <laughs> yeah, all kinds of replacement knobs. And uh, the upstairs. Uh, if you just bought a bus or a shuttle van or something and you want to build an RV from scratch, well, you could literally just shop for everything you need. Furniture, cushions, mattresses, over here, fresh water tanks of uh, all different sizes. And eventually, yes, I am going to be upgrading the tank on Frida as well. There's a really flat one there. That's cool. Like under the, under the bed. Batwing antennas, more wheel simulators, bamboo curtains like from Breaking Bad. <laughs> if you want to go old school. Lots and lots of different cushions. You know, you can even find some that are the same, the same color and then modify them a little bit. So... Always a fun stop here at West Coast RV Recycling. I'm gonna do some shopping, go get my list out of the RV and uh, see how that audience comes along. They're also putting in a new uh, refrigerator here because it needed a new condensing coil on the back so they took the fridge out. In fact, that might be the one or something. And then this is a new condenser so you don't have to replace the whole fridge. They'll uh, fix your fridge here. Also the existing um, arms, the existing hardware that we had because remember I lost one arm, but then we had the other one over there. It's not compatible and it's also not a very uh, not a very reliable arm system, so we're going back to a, a trusted one. And this is the only piece that's new. I, we uh, ordered some brand new arms, so that'll be good. There's my new awning. There she is. They got the forklift up there to hold it and secure it and balance it. Oh, it's going to be so nice for all this rain. Oh, now it's blue skies and sunshine. Okay, well... <laughs> They got it all leveled up on each side and uh, tested everything out. I love the blue fade because got the blue, you know? Yeah. I did. Well, that awning is gonna be nice to have in the sunshine and the rain, <laughs> both. That was quick, they, they knocked that out in about 45 minutes. I will just mention that um, awnings are not as cheap as they once was, but compared to the, the, the first one that I got done there, it is significantly uh, more expensive these days, but it can still be done, it can be. Awning turned out great, guys, looks awesome. A little too windy where I've got the RV parked, I actually use it right this second. But 
I'm sure I'll be using it to shade sun and probably a mixture of a little bit of rain from time to time along my travels, you never know. But I will say that finally, man, it looks like things are finally turning around for Nomadic Fanatic. <laughs> I love having my car. I got my little JBL speaker there, a little portable speaker. And I got a, a cooler of stuff. There's stuff in there. I don't know what it is. Brought my chair back out to the beach. It's a little, little windy out here, but, and chilly. It's pretty cold. 62 degrees, but the wind chill in July still makes it feel like 50 degrees. Free air conditioning. Yeah. I'm doing better, guys. I'm doing a lot better. That's a good thing. I needed that. <laughs> How are y'all doing? Staying cool out there? Okay, well... Quite possibly might be saying goodbye to the ocean for a little bit here. However, um, I, I think I'm okay now. I think I am. I think I'm okay to stay in this part of the country for a little bit. Remember, it was my idea to uh, save on some gas in the rig and uh, enjoy little trips out to explore places. So... Um, I don't know, maybe staying a little bit longer or I may go down into Oregon. I don't know. Making this up day to day. I could wake up tomorrow. We could be in another state. I don't know. But either way, you'll get another video from me tomorrow. Just want to stay here for a couple hours and then we'll head back to the RV. Air Bear, you helping Dad edit? Yeah, you being my shoulder warmer? Hmm. Okay, girlfriend. Opie, what are you doing to help? Oh. Okay. Yeah? Is that what you think? Thank you. Thank you for listening. I love you guys. You guys sure make my day. Yeah. I'm sorry it's so loud and windy at the beaches. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'm just uh, finishing up some editing, the last little uh, time-lapse clip there, and uh, thought, where are, the, where are the kitties? They're, they're usually uh, at my side. And then, um... <laughs> well, for reference, it's not, it's not hot, right? So it's not hot here. They just, <laughs> they don't like the air conditioning, so they both move to the window. <laughs> Hi, guys. What are you guys doing? You guys are weird and cute and adorable, and I love both your fuzzy butts. There's a fuzzy butt. There's a fuzzy butt. <laughs> this crack could be a... All right, enjoy your sunshine. Here, just give you some privacy there. Well, they're brother and sister. They don't need privacy. Well, at least I think I've, I think I've decided that they're brother and sister, haven't we? We haven't really addressed that, have we? They're both fixed, spayed and neutered, but I think Opie and Tara are brother and sister, not boyfriend, girlfriend, right? Does it matter? Do we care? I think they just love each other, like siblings. Yeah. Anyways, another video in the books. Thanks for joining me, guys. Another video coming tomorrow with Vlogmas in July. I'll see you guys tomorrow.